Give me your hands. Give me your hands. It's so simple and so obvious that a hundred years ago, everyone understood this without even thinking about it. And it's one of the great ironies and the great tragedies of history that the entire Western world is stampeding towards the abyss because we've turned our back on something so obvious and so basic. But these four syllables solve countless mysteries. Why are black crime and poverty rates so high? Well, mystery solved. Why are there racial gaps in test scores? Why are there so few blacks in the AP classes? Mystery solved. Why do so many Hispanic students drop out? Mystery solved. Why did the Marshall Plan work miracles for Europe, but all of our foreign aid to the third world is a complete flop? Why can't blacks and Hispanics solve uh, past civil service and teacher qualifications examinations? All these mysteries are solved. And for example, why is Singapore rich, but Nigeria with all that oil is a mess? Mystery solved. And of course, one of the made latest mysteries that's baffling uh, Silicon Valley is, why are there so few black and, his, and black and Mexican programmers? All those super smart high-tech types out there in Silicon Valley are just scratching their heads over this, but it's not a mystery to you. It's not a mystery to me either. This simple truth about race solves countless riddles that are utterly flummoxing the professors and the PhD. This four-syllable incantation also completely solves the problem of white privilege, so-called. There isn't any. There isn't any because blacks and Hispanics, by and large, get to the level where they deserve to get, given their abilities, and then some, a considerable number get an extra boost because of racial preferences. It's not white people that are holding them down. Race and IQ. Oh, I 
17th, New York City police confronted 43-year-old Eric Gardner in Staten Island. Gardner, a low-level street dealer of illegal cigarettes, was not happy to see the police. Everybody's standing here, they said I didn't do nothing. I did not sell nothing. Because every time you see you want to harass me, you want to stop me, you want to sell a cigarette, I'm minding my business, officer. I'm minding my business. Please just leave me alone. I told you the last time, please just leave me alone.
to me that never really happened before. I felt this warm, it felt like some, some warm feeling was in my neck and rising and filled my head. You feel, it's like the way I described it, it felt like a hot Novocaine rising in my neck. And actually, he felt a rising in my neck and felt... And the urge to run? No. I decided at that point I was going to shoot the wall. Shoot the wall. Shoot the wall. Shoot the wall.